players got a great reception when they come back to start this deciding frame. Not the best break off from Jimmy, an early chance. Typical Stephen Hendry. He's missed so many of those. He's in a deciding frame and he cured that beautifully. As he did at the start of the previous frame. And he's given himself an early chance. And as John Parrott said in the studio, all you can ask for in a deciding frame is to get one chance. And what a chance Stephen Hendry has here. Just coming up to five hours. He had everything in this match, century breaks, lots of misses, lots of tension. It's amazing, isn't it, Dennis, that until he was eight, seven behind, Stephen Hendry, he got up so ordinary and just totally out of sorts. But that last frame, he, he plays absolutely fabulous, the last frame. Has given him a chance to win this well, as well. And he'll go straight into the bunch here because he's guaranteed to be on the red at the back of them. So if this works out, he'll give himself a terrific opportunity. He's on. Oh, he's fine. He got enough spin on it. Thank you. Watch the white stop and then grip and spin again. He's amazing, this fellow. He really is. How he can produce it. And he backs right against the wall. And that's where he's calling on his vast experience. It was a great Wait, argument. Seven. Who's the greatest player who's ever picked a queue up? I still think it's Stephen Hendry. A lot of people will go for Ronnie O'Sullivan. But... Davis held that mantle for many years. Still, some people might think Steve's the greatest player that's ever played, but Stephen Hendry, with the titles he's won, still hold that title for me. Will he get a chance? Will he, will he? <laughs> well... If this was three or four years ago, I'd say no, but I still I kind of half expect Hendry to miss, but the way he's played this last frame and a half, it's been like the old Stephen Hendry. Both players would be extremely disappointed with the way they've played. The loser will think, how on earth have I lost? And the winner do battle with the Welshman Mark Williams who's back to his best but just the break off shot Jimmy didn't get it as he intended and left half a chance and that's all that Stephen Hendry's needed little plants to the pocket with his eyes the only player that's ever done that he looks from the ball to the pocket not all the time well that's quite remarkable isn't it it's an inner strength it has to be let's come out here well, I wouldn't believe I'm watching the same player We've seen a man queue all over the place for the whole match. Missing Brown off the spot, missing Blacks off the spot. All of a sudden, when you cannot afford to miss a game, he produces. Couldn't get nicely on a red, although I think there's one behind the pink that goes into the middle pocket. Now, the number of times in the 90s this man has finished a match the century break.
but you just have to take your hat off to see with Henry, don't you? Incredible. Jimmy will be kicking himself, but the last two frames have been fantastic. I mean, Jimmy's played his part. He made a break of 61 and a break of 68 to go 8 7 in front. He hasn't done that much wrong. It's just that bad break off shot. He's had to sit in the seat ever since. snookers and uh, a little shake of the head well that just tells you the whole story that's a magnificent effort from the Scott that 73 break means that Jimmy needs a snooker He needs a couple of snookers, and look where this red's going. Well, that is the end, and Jimmy White comes forward to shake the hand of the seven times for the world champion. It was a great match in the end. Both players started to produce. Jimmy White looked as if he was going to win when he led 8 7, but in the end, Stephen Henry, it was a little bit of vintage Stephen Henry in that last frame, and he goes through to the second round to meet Mark Williams. 9-8. Great match. Well done to both players.